The first and foremost thing in any number based questions or simplification question is to know about order of operations in the given problem. The order of operations are brackets, orders, division or multiplication from left to right, addition or subtraction from left to right. So in brackets you have line bracket, normal bracket, curly bracket and last rectangle bracket. So in this you will find of squares, cubes, etc. and square roots, cubic roots, etc. Division and multiplication is denoted often by like this. Otherwise, multiplication and of a number like in India. Okay. Addition and subtraction, there is only one way that may be denoted as plus or minus. Let's look at some basic problems to understand this concept. The first problem is based on prime. So take an example, 2 plus 3 into 6 divided by 3. So in this example, if we normally do as it is given in the problem, the result will be 2 plus 3, 5, 5 into 6 divided by 3, 5 into 6, 30 by 3 is equal to 10. But this is not the correct way to do it. So as per the Badmas rule, first we need to remove the brackets. So it will be 2 plus 3 into 6, 18 divided by 3. Again look into Badmas, this division gets high priority. So it's 2 plus 18 by 3 is 6 and 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 is the correct answer. Let's look at another example to know more about this Badmas rule. Here 17 by 3 divided by 34 plus bracket of 6 minus 2 into 6 plus 3 squared minus root of 16. So as per Badmas rule we will try to solve this problem. First what we need to do is remove the brackets. Here bracket is uh, bracket is there only once. So on the bracket also you need to apply Badmas rule if more than one operator is there. So this will get high priority. So 6 minus 12 is minus 6. So this we can write as 17 by 3 into 1 by 34. So 17 into 2 is 34 so we can strike that out. So here we can get 1 by 6. So don't forget to add this plus everywhere. Okay. And then coming to this. Plus 3 squared minus 16. Plus 3 squared minus root of 16. Okay. 1 by 6 minus 6. 3 squared is 9. Minus root of 16 is 4. Then... Take that 6 common, 1, 6 into 6, 9 into 6, 4 into 6, 9 into 6, 54, 4 into 6, 24. So solving this, we will get 55 minus 50 plus 10, 60 by 6 is equal to minus 5 by 6. 
so this is the correct answer now look into in this real time example a shopkeeper buys four dozens of chocolates for adding to his inventory on the day of purchase he had three dozen of chocolates that morning where 10 of them sold and two chocolates are returned since the package is opened now we will try to write this as a equation so shopkeeper is buying four dozen of chocolates so 4 into 12 on the day of purchase we had three dozen of chocolates that morning so 3 into 12 10 chocolates were sold and 2 chocolates out of this were returned. So 10 chocolates sold and 2 chocolates returned. Now if we solve this as uh, with considering any must rule, we first 4 into 12, 48, 48 plus 3 into 12 minus 10 plus 2 48 plus 3 51 into 12 minus 10 plus 2 51 into 12 6 12 minus 10 plus 2 6 12 minus 8 So the answer is coming 604. Would you believe it? Because he has at most only seven dozens of chocolate, but the answer is coming 604. So what we have to do is we have to go by the bottom rule. First, we need to take care of multiplications. Then we should come back to additions and subtractions. Now we try to solve this by this bottom rule. First, take multiplications 4 into 12, 48, 3 into 12, 36, minus 10 plus 2 is equal to 48 plus 36 is equal to 70, 80, 84, minus 8. So the answer would be 76. So it has only 76 chocolates at each store.